Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and today I'm going to talk about What to Say When You Don't Know What to Say by Davina Bell and illustrated by Hilary Jean Tapper. This is a book that came out in 2022. It was a notable book this year, it is absolutely gorgeous and I received this copy from Hachette for review and I'm very very grateful to them for it. So this book is not a straight narrative in that you, you don't have a narrative with a problem and a solution happening through this story. Instead this book is a sequence of moments where children and even adults might not know what to say and it provides an option for you know what what can you say when something is difficult or tough or just a situation you haven't been confronted with before. So for example if someone is hurting you you feel that sense of I, I don't know what to say, I don't know how to stop this, just say that doesn't feel good. Or if you are unsure in a situation and you don't know what to do, can you please help me? I think about sort of the way that we use books in schools and a lot of the things that we are teaching and learning about in schools. We do a lot of social and emotional teaching and this is a really great one for that because you don't have to read the entire book. You can pull out a page and you can study the illustrations with kids and you can actually read the words and then go okay this is what the authors have suggested that you can say. What other suggestions do you have? And you can brainstorm and come up with them. And I think it's a really great way to open up the conversation with students, particularly young students. I'm really quite familiar with Davina Bell's works. I love her picture books. They're always beautiful. They always center people and kids at the heart of their story. And they are always about recognizing that you have the ability to help yourself, that you are worthy and that you deserve to have good experiences in your life. And she never disregards the fact that, you know, bad things can happen and things that make us feel sad or upset occur, but we have the ability to overcome that. And that is, you know, very deeply represented in this book because it's all about situations where you feel uncomfortable and you don't know what to say to help resolve that situation and help you to move on. So it is very much about navigating all of those moments in our lives where we need some support and we need to learn those strategies and I was just thinking very recently at work we were having conversations around social and emotional regulation with some of our students and the fact that it is hard you have to teach it you have to come back to it they don't always have great modeling for that sometimes school is the only place that they get it and you need really powerful texts to be able to support that also the illustrations in this are just beautiful and whimsical and very inclusive and just absolutely lovely to look at. I mean it is a gorgeous gorgeous book and you could totally read it from cover to cover if you really wanted to but I think the power in this is that coming back to it time and time again and looking at different scenarios, talking about them, building those conversations, building the language that students need to be able to navigate certain situations as well. It's incredibly powerful. And those of you who have been watching my channels for a while know I love end papers and particularly when end papers change from start to end. So here we have a student feeling excluded or a child feeling excluded, they don't have to be at school, to everyone being included and it's just, it's gorgeous. So thank you again to Hachette for sending this to me. I will leave links to where you can find out more information and purchase the book down below. If you haven't seen it already, it's wonderful. If you haven't read Davina Bell, definitely check out all of her books because they are well worth it. They're some of my favourite books in my collection. If you've read Davina Bell's books or have suggestions for other books that are similar, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, feel free to leave an ice cream cone emoji down below. I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.